Java has a number of operators that result in a Boolean value of true or false. Some of these are categorized as comparison operators, and the others are called logical operators. This double equals sign is a comparison operator that will test the equality of two values. Now this is different from the single equal sign, which is always an assignment operator. If you just want to compare two values without changing anything, you use the double equal sign. The only way that this will result in true is for the two values to be exactly the same. The opposite of this one is the not equals operator. The only way this will result in true is for the values of a and b to not be the same. As a rule of thumb, the equal and not equal operators should not be used on floating point numbers. Only in very special circumstances can two floating point numbers be exactly equal, so they will almost always show up as being not equal. These operators will result in true only in the first case if a is less than b, or in the second case a is greater than b. These operators honor signs, that is, a negative number is always smaller than a positive number, and these two work fine on floating point numbers. The first operator here will be true if a is either less than or equal to b, and the second will be true if a is greater than or equal to b. Now, there is one more operator. It looks more like a method or something than it does an operator, but it is an operator in the Java language. It results in true if the object A is an object of the class B. There is some polymorphism stuff involved here, so I explain it in a better context later. Anyway, those are the comparison operators. All that's left are the logical operators. A logical operator is one that uses Boolean expressions in combination to come to a Boolean result. For example, there is the logical AND. Now this looks the same as the bitwise operator, but the compiler knows what it is because both A and B are Boolean expressions. For example, the whole expression could look something like this. This expression results in true only if x is greater than 5 and y is equal to 20. If either comparison is false, the entire expression is false. You can use the logical OR operator and it will be true if either of the two Boolean expressions are true. This expression results in true if either x is greater than 5 or y is equal to 20. Both expressions have to be false for the entire expression to be false. And there is an exclusive OR. This expression results in true if either a is true or b is true, but it results in false if they are both true. For example, this expression results in true if x is greater than 5, but y does not equal 20. It also results in true if x is not greater than 5, but y does equal 20. Otherwise, the result is false. That is, the overall result is false if both of the expressions are true or if both of the expressions are false. You will often see the logical AND operator written with a pair of ampersands. It works the same as the single ampersand, except for one thing. When it starts evaluating the expression and it finds that A is false, it already knows the entire answer, so it never bothers to evaluate B. This usually doesn't matter, but it can be important if something happens in the B expression evaluation that makes a difference somehow. You could have a method call in there, and you could expect that to happen. In that case, use the single ampersand. There is a double bar version of the OR operator, too. If the evaluation of A proves to be true, there is no need to evaluate B to determine the results of the expression. So it doesn't. I've got one more expression to tell you about. It doesn't really fall into this category, but it doesn't fall into any other category either, so this is as good a place as any to tell you about it. I've heard it called the ternary operator and the ternary conditional operator. I've also heard the slang name of hook and colon. Here's an example of it. What this statement does is start by evaluating the Boolean expression. If it results in true, then the value of C is the result of the expression, and that is the value assigned to X. If the Boolean expression is false, that is, if A is not greater than B, the value of D is taken as a result and assigned to X. Here is another way to write exactly the same thing. 
I've been teaching beginning Java for several years now, and I get more flack about this statement than anything else in the language. I don't know if it could actually be on the exam, but it is part of the language, and you need to know about it whether you decide to use it or not.